Hello and welcome. In this video, we will see how to configure email feature by using email control bit. Many users need a mail function in controller for any faulty, malfunctioning condition or to do machine analysis. When our machine is at breakdown, we can analyze the exact reason of failure when we have data for what reason machine fails or go into fault mode. In order to send email, the controller must connect to an Ethernet network with access to a mail server. These are the basic steps to configure the email feature. Email configuration setting. Add contact group and recipients. Compose email screen. Trigger email. See status on email log. Now let's configure email feature using FlexiSoft software. Create a new project in FlexiSoft software as per hardware selection. Here I am using FP4151TN series HMI. We have done with the new project creation, now start with the email configuration. On the left side in project list you can see email feature. Expand email. For email. First email configuration and then contact list updation has to be done. Click on configure. Configure window will be on screen. SMTP settings and. Sender information must be filled. Start with the SMTP settings. Here set email server. You must give your email server. Here, give email server port number. Click on the SMTP server requires authentication checkbox. Click on the type of encrypted connection checkbox. Select SSL type encrypted connection. Now we have done with the SMTP settings. Now fill the sender information. In username you can write the name of the sender or you can use device name by click on this checkbox. Here give the email sender mail ID. Here give the password. Click on OK. Now we have done email configuration successfully. Now. Click on the contact list. Contact list window will be on screen. Here contact must be added. Here we can select recipients group number. By clicking on add button. The number of group is 1 now. Here we can select recipient that is 2, CC or BCC etc. Add contact name by click on add button. Add contact window will be on screen. Here give the name. Here, give the email ID. Click on OK. Contact will gets added into the list. If you click here, contact will get added into the selected recipient. Now it is 2. If we select CC and follow the same procedure, contact will gets added into it. If we click here contact will be removed from selected recipient. Same procedure for BCC also. Here, I have selected recipient 2. Current group selection should be shown here. I have added only one group so my current group is group 1. We can write description to this selected group here. 
click on OK. Now, contacts for email are configured successfully. Now, we will compose email block. Right click on the email for email 1. Select new email screen, screen. number is 63950. Double click. Click on it. Email block should have similar GUI as follows it's just like a normal screen. We can use text entry for display message. This message will go as text, not in image. We can do text formatting. We can change background color. This message will be show on email. From advanced object. Select email log. This screen will give information regarding your email on HMI. Compile the project. Click on PC communication mode. Here I'm using Ethernet communication for program downloading and monitoring. Set the IP address. Now, we done with the Ethernet settings. Click on OK. From mode select. Go online with download. Save the program. Click on the download. Now close the download window. Now, HMI is in run mode. Click on data window. Right click in the data window select add variable to add tags. Unclick on the hide system tag. Add email tags. Email control bit tag. Add email group number tag. Add email screen number tag. Add email status register tag. This is a control bit for email. Here we have to give group number. We have given group number 1 so write 1 here. Here we have give email screen number. For email 1 screen number is 63950. This status register value shows the status of your email. Make the control bit true. The status register is showing value 255. It means it is ideal state. Now it shows the value 8 at minus mail send successfully. For more information regarding this values please refer status register tag slide. We can do the same thing from logic also. The status register shows the status of our email. Email is sent successfully or not, server connection is done or not, or any kind of error is there, and so on. This is email log screen on the HMI. Here the status register is having value 8 so it means email has sent successfully. This is an email message screen in the mailbox. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, like and share. For more videos, please subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon for updates.